Hello folks, time for another video and the nighttime shave. Even though I have some fake lighting behind my shower curtain, it is very late at night because I was so busy during the day today with my wife doing lots of goodies around the household and outdoors that it's very late. So I'm going to do a night shave and I will post this in the morning. But I am parched because I've been working my butt off today, so... Let's go with the good old Mountain Valley spring water from Arkansas. That's ah, good stuff. Alrighty. Well, I was also going through a lot of my shave soaps. I have so many, I don't know, over like 200 shave soaps. And I was coming across one of my favorite Zingari scents. Not my favorite Zingari scent, but one of my favorites. Um, I know it hasn't been produced recently. Um, it's Mariner. Now. Awesome scent. We got Marine, Lime, and Ozone. This is an awesome scent. I just love this scent. Now, in the very beginning, I used to kind of make fun of Heather. Because I used to get a little banana out of this. But... As it's aged over time, it's more of a, I get that ozone, but it's marine, lime and ozone. Let me tell you, very great scent. This is in her original vegan base. The ingredients are actually on the container, which is awesome. I actually miss these containers because I thought they were unique. So there's the ingredients. I've had the soap for a few years. Awesome scent. Uh... I just felt like she went this tonight. I don't know. Something tells told me just, hey, find the Mariner. So there it is. And I'm using the DS Cosmetics 24 millimeter flat top today. And of course, I got it whipped up in the old timeless bowl. Now, one thing about Zingari soaps, especially the, this base here, the older vegan base, you could either give it a couple drips of water. Or 5 million gallons of water and you'll never kill it. I was never able to drown the soap or under hydrate the soap. And it's phenomenal. I don't know if you can see that, but that was a, that's great. Look at that sheen. Makes a great lather. Scent on this is awesome. Very nice aquatic. Man, I am thirsty tonight. And I just got out of the shower because I was filthy. Sorry, folks. Just keeping hydrated there with the old Mountain Valley spring water. All right. Now, I'm using the Razor Rock Eco tonight. And you notice, but that's not the handle from the Eco. Nope. That is my Putali handle. My Packlewood Putali handle. Very nice. All right. So. Let me wet the face. It is actually pretty warm in this bathroom, even though I think outside right now it's in the mid-70s. Air conditioning has been coming on and coming off. But we'll see if we can get through the shave without it coming on. But we'll see. I do have it on, so... Awesome Zingari scent. I don't know if Heather plans to bring this back. Maybe she will. Maybe she won't. But we'll see. But I do enjoy it. I've always enjoyed it. Good stuff. See that nice sheen on there. Just clear the nose a little bit. All right, so we're going to go with the Razor Rock Eco. By the way, it's in green, if you haven't noticed. One of my favorite shave colors is green. Oh, and the blade that's in there is the crown. 
half DE blades that actually came with this razor when I bought it from Italian Barber. Great deal. You get the razor and they give you a hundred blades for, I believe, an awesome price of $29. I actually haven't checked up on it lately, but I will leave the link down below, of course. I'm pretty sure it's still around the same price. Love that feedback. Because of that aluminum head, it's very light. That's why I like to change the handle up to put a little bit heavier handle on there. My son's actually in some crazy video game tournament and I could hear him in his room yelling. Oh, and there goes the air conditioning. I figured it would come on. Yes, I, uh, I was very busy today, it being Saturday. We had a September 11 memorial in town today, so we were around for that. And busy around the house. Oh, and we are getting very close to hitting that 600 subscriber mark. I believe we are six away. Last time I checked. But sometimes it's strange. I don't know if it's a YouTube thing or some of the fake subscribers get taken down by YouTube. And of course, I go up and down every day. So, got something pretty good for the giveaway, too. I just ordered some stuff last week and I ordered something for the giveaway. I was going to do one thing, but then I decided to go a whole different route. So it ought to be good. Or I know for me, it would be good. But I think you guys would like what I'm going to give away. All right. That feels really good. So back with another pass with the Zingari Man Mariner. I remember the promotion on this soap a few years back when Zingari would take the soap like around, like on vacation and take pictures of it, like in the, at the beach or on vacation. The good old days. Yes, I was going to say something and I kind of forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I was going to say I still have some of uh, Heather's products back when she was called the, when Zingari was called the Smitten Soapery. In fact, I remember Nomad, which is my favorite Zingari scent, was uh, called Sexy Beast. I still have my original, well, Smitten Soapery's uh, container somewhere. I'm not sure if it's here in the house or in or in uh, storage, but one day I'll break those out and show you about those, you guys, those things. 
really cool. I'll tell you one thing, Zingari's has definitely grown into a very big, not big, 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 but a big company. I know I see Heather's products on a lot of the shave distribution sites. At least I could say I knew her when. I really like this original vegan base. I mean, I do like the Sego base too. But the original vegan base for me is very sentimental. It was actually my introduction to Zingari Man soups. I really like the feedback on this eco. Has that. Because the head is so light, the aluminum head. I'm just gonna do a little counter maintenance here. Sorry, folks. All right. And the residual slickness on this soap is the slickest I've ever had in like a vegan base. A great performer. I think it's actually slicker than her single base, but I'm not going to say that out loud because she'll be mad at me. All right, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a stellar shave right there. Oh, yeah. I am nice and BBS, so let's empty good old Sigmund, the Sea Monster Sink. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Let's do a quick... Cold water rinse. Let me just rinse out my sink because it has whiskeritis. The water is starting to get colder now that the nights have been cooler here in New Jersey. disaster on my counter all right so let's reach for the old Lancaster towel or as I call it the Lancaster water magnet it's really great for sucking up that water okay so that was the old Lancaster towel with the clippy which hangs right there. All right, so let me just recap this awesome nighttime shave. That was Zingari Man's Mariner. Hopefully this scent will eventually make a return. I know it's kind of seasonal for summer, but we'll see. I love the scent. Mm, I love the old containers too, so cool. But I guess everybody must progress Okay, so that was the Razor Rock Eco with the Putali Packerwood handle on it. And that was the Crown Half DE Blades 
that Italian barber sends with the razor, which I think is a great deal. And that was a DS Cosmetics 24 millimeter flat top, actually. We got some time here, so. Let me kind of just rinse it out real quick. Ooh, that's hot. Hot, hot, hot. And just show you what that cool looking flat top looks like. Because I don't see many YouTubers using the old flat top. It's totally flat. My buddy Josh sent me this brush a while back. So thanks, Josh, for this brush. Really appreciate it. And of course, that was the Timeless Ball. Always does a great job. And you can see the old Timeless label on the background. I mean, you can't go bad for, I think this bowl is still $12. It's either 12 or 14 All right, let me just grab one more swig of good old Arkansas Mountain Valley. Sorry, I've been so thirsty in this one. We've just been chugging along outside today, so plus I just took a really hot shower. All right, so I do have the matching bomb for this, but... I'm wearing a splash kind of mood, so I broke out an old timer, which I haven't used in a long time, which is my Panade Clubman, but it's the blue. I forget the name, but I'll post it down below. It's kind of got that aqua velvety kind of scent. Really dig it. Wanted something nice and light and a little bit of zing. If I would have put the bomb on, it would have been great, but I wanted that little bit of burn. And the bomb doesn't contain any alcohol. All right. That was awesome. So that was the Clubman Blue. Nice. All righty, folks. So if you enjoyed today's kind of midnight shave, basically, with uh, Zingari Mariner. Thumbs up and please subscribe because we are like this close. And stay safe out there. And until next shave, Glenn signing off. Mm -hmm.